So, hi, good evening. My name is Dr. Jay Desai, and uh, I am starting this new YouTube videos on uh, NDE, that is non destructive testing. So before uh, going into detail, let me introduce myself. My name is Dr. Jai Desai. I have done my B.Tech in Metallurgical and Materials Engineering from VNIT Nagpur. Then uh, I did my Masters in Metallurgical and Materials Engineering from IIT Kharagpur and uh, PhD in Material Science from UT El Paso. Um, there are lots of videos on NDT and uh, there are lots of professionals who have been working in this area for a long long time and they have made very elaborate videos and um, they have done a very fantastic job but uh, this uh, video series has its own purpose the first purpose is only for the education that is the primary, pers uh, primary purpose behind this uh, video series um, then uh, the second purpose is uh, we are trying to make uh, short videos to facilitate easy and comfortable learning. Uh, length of each video will be less than 20 minutes so that uh, we can uh, learn quickly in lesser time and we can be more effective in the process. The other thing is uh, that each video will be dedicated to only one specific non-destructive testing method. So it will be easier for you to go and quickly search the keywords and the video will be shown over there. And uh, the idea is to discuss basics of different non-destructive testing methods in the most simplest language possible so that uh, anyone can understand. Uh, we are trying to make this video such that even a person who is not associated with the science or scientific community can also understand uh, the basics of non-destructive testing. Of course, the entity field is extremely wide and uh, the content in this video is limited to my understanding on the subject. It will provide a basic starting point or platform to students and professionals around the world to perform their experiments and then they can start from there. It is just a starting point. It's just some basics of non-destructive testing that uh, I will be talking about in this video series. Um, when we say non-destructive testing, what we really mean in a very simple or layman terms is we want to inspect the component without damaging it. So all those methods which are used to determine whether a part or component is good to use or not without damaging it comes under the category of non-destructive testing. Okay. Now, the second question which arises is where are NDT methods used? So, NDT methods are used in almost every step of product design, product development, product manufacturing, product usage, and then if uh, the service life is about to get completed for a product, then it is also used for product rejection or product replacement. So NDT methods uh, one will find in a uh, huge areas. There are lots of applications and there are lots of different stages um, where product has to undergo uh, non-destructive evaluation so that we as an engineer or as a scientist know that uh, the product is good enough to work or it needs rejection or replacement. So in all these methods, NDT techniques are used. Now, the next question which comes naturally is, what's the information that we can generate from NDT test? So the first information we can generate is uh, the information which is design related so all the design related informations we can generate from NDT test. Then 
the materials or process related information we can also gather from doing different entity tests. The third one is the service and maintenance related information. So a huge uh, data can be collected from entity test if uh, one knows how to do it properly and if one spends enough time to understand the science and the technology behind the non-destructive testing methods. So why we need NDT on the first place? That's the very basic question, right? So what happens is uh, in, a, in a component, there can be defects or flaws. And these defects or flaws, they can hamper the performance, they can reduce the life, or it may lead to failure in any engineering components or system. And that is why it is very essential to detect them and to make correct, corrective measurements so that they do not uh, affect the performance of the engineering component. And this we have to do it without damaging the sample. We have to make sure that the component cannot be, component is not destroyed. And we also have to detect the underlying defects. And that is why the need for the entity is there. Now, the NDT is used in uh, both during quality control, that is before the component is used for uh, the intended application, before it starts the, its service life, it is used before it uh, to check the quality of the component. And in the later stage, when the component is in service, that is also where we uh, do different uh, non-destructive testing uh, so that we can uh, have the maintenance and health monitoring. So the basic aim or the basic idea behind the non-destructive testing is to gather data on physical, chemical and mechanical state of components. That is what we want from non-destructive testing. Okay, but how do we do it? So we do non-destructive testing by basically interacting between two things. One is called information generating device and another is called an object which is under test. So how this in information generating device is interacting with the object under test, with that we can uh, um, determine the physical, chemical and mechanical state of components. And uh, this is what's the basic idea behind the non-destructive testing, that we are using this interaction between uh, the device and the object to study different properties of the component and to determine whether there is a flaw or a defect present in a material. Now, how can we generate the information? There are different uh, um, methods by which we can generate the information. One is using X-rays, uh, using gamma rays, using neutrons, using ultrasound, and using magnetism. Basically, the fundamental idea is that the process of interaction should not damage the test object or impair its intended utility value. That's the fundamental idea. We can do anything which we want under the six, seven categories of NDT, but it should not damage the sample in any way. Now, let's talk about the market. The global NDT and inspection market, according to a survey by Markets and Markets, is uh, was about uh, 8.4 billion US dollars in 2020, and it is projected to be around 11.7 billion US dollars, and uh, it is projected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of at least 7% from 2020 to 2025. So there is a huge potential for uh, NDT in the future. And this is the data by Asia Pacific, that China is uh, again the leading one in non-destructive testing and inspection market, then Japan and then India. India is the third largest contributor to the non-destructive testing. And uh, there is a 
there are lots of labs, uh, lots of facilities which are providing uh, non-destructive testing methods and analysis to different customers and uh, different clients. These are the some entity application areas where non-destructive testing are used. Uh, it is used in manufacturing, it is used in oil and gas, in aerospace, in automotive sector, in power generation, in medical sector. So these are just few of the applications where entity is used, but there are again a lots of uh, ap application areas where non-destructive testing is used and uh, a lot of money is getting saved because of it. There are various entity methods which we will talk about in the video series. In the next video series, we will talk about visual inspection and uh, subsequently in uh, different videos, we'll talk about dipenetrant testing, magnetic particle testing, eddy current testing, radiographic inspection, ultrasonic testing. And each video will be dedicated to only one testing method. And uh, if we want to learn more in detail, uh, these are my references and um, feel free to visit and uh, learn more about the non-destructive testing. That's it from my side. Thank you for viewing this video and uh, I hope uh, you, you have learned something and uh, if uh, you find this video useful please like and comment in the sections below